I just received my Niji Master 7W laser engraver. I'm going to take it out of the box. Hope you stick around. It's not a box. Hey, it's Todd with TLF Works, and I've just received my Niji Master 7W laser engraver. I have bought this from Gearbest over in China. Uh, I know very little about the company. Uh, I can tell you this, I, I ordered it. It arrived six days later. It looks like it's in great shape. It's packaged well. It's basically shrink wrapped foam. Uh, we're gonna take this thing apart, look at all the pieces, put it together and uh, give you a first impression. I want to save these just in case I need them later. It's really packaged pretty well. All right, let's take a closer look at what we have here. Safety glasses. Here's the laser itself. Power plug. Auxiliary pack. Got a marker, a little brush, USB cable, a power adapter that we won't need here in the USA. I have some items I can print on, do some test prints. I expected four of these. I'll have to check that. Got a little wrench. Got nuts. Zip ties. Dog tag print on. Looks like we're pretty set. As we get ready to attach these two, like so, we need to make sure that we get the power.
three days later, three cameras later, two shirts back to this one. Let's do a recap of what we've got here. I'm in the process of putting this laser together. Um, almost ready to plug it into the computer and give it a, give it a go. So uh, let me adjust the camera, the new camera, and we'll uh, we'll get ready. As I plug this thing in in a minute, you're going to notice that I'm going to use this little uh, uh, DC 12 volt inline switch. So I'm going I'm to put a switch on it. This thing doesn't have a switch. There's no power on or off on this thing. So the only way to uh, control the power to it is to unplug it. So instead of having to unplug it all the time, I'm going to add a switch here. Okay, what you didn't see me do is I just put a zip tie on to keep this cable on right here. I used their included wrench to tighten down the uh, four nuts here. And I'm bringing over a small piece of plywood that I can sit this on. I'm going to take their cable. Cable goes in right here. Power goes in right here. Get out one of these switches. Switch is going to plug in right here. I'll be using these two little brackets to attach this to a base in the near future. But right now, everything else is getting picked up, put aside. How were these? Okay, so we have the laser assembled. I've connected it to the uh, to the computer here. It plugged into my switch. We're going to turn it on. You can focus right here with focusing ring. I think I have a pretty small dot selected. Let's see, you have to install the driver first off their website, so you install the driver. I'm sort of new to this software device like brand new like you know first time here so um, stick with me I've seen in the past where people go to the photo gallery we're in the photo gallery let's pick out a photo Let's do one that looks pretty complex. Let's do this moment. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Say yes. I get to pick. I don't know. We'll select that one. This is my first print, if you will. Let's get a font. Click insert. Put it out there. Say OK. Have it draw a box where it's going to print. Looks good to me. 
It says lasers at 90, burning times 3 milliseconds. Let's see what happens. Gonna look cool in these shades. <clears throat> Seems like a pretty good, uh, pretty good print quality here. Uh, it was easy to set up and do. Next thing I'm gonna try CNC tab. So stick with me and uh, let's see if we can print something off CNC. Let's see if we can get the CNC tab enabled and print something that I designed in Fusion 360. Okay, CNC tab. I'm gonna open a CAD file. Uh, drag and drop files there, okay. I'm gonna open a DFF file. So if you drop the file here, and I'm going to go over here, I have this logo file, try to drag it, drop it in there, it shows my logo in here, it's really white, but it shows it. Adjust width, let's see, it says it's like 40 down, I wonder if we can make that work. 60. Let's see where it wants to draw that. We're going to burn it in the top corner of this plywood. Let's go to 10 milliseconds. Let's just see what it's going to do. I'm just experimenting. It seems very inefficient at printing from this uh, CNC file that I gave it, and that's fine. Um, it's not about time most of the, you know most of the time. If you're considering buying one of these, uh, it's not a real big investment. It's uh, easy to assemble out of the box. The uh, the software has a dated feel to it, but it seems to work. I've been able to print. Uh, basically images which were probably PNG files or something like that and I've printed a, 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 a DXF file, does that sound right? A CAD file. I, I went into uh, Fusion 360 and I did an export 
the file type, and I think it was DXF. And then uh, Fusion 360 said, uh, okay, uh, that has to be a cloud process or something. So it processed for a little bit, generated the file, and I put it out on a, a network drive. And then uh, when I went to the CNC tab, and, and I don't want to mess with the software right now, because I'm not too sure how involved it is in running the laser. So, uh, so I'll wait. But, <clears throat> but I went into, the, uh, went into the tab, clicked the button, Drag the file from my network share into it. Uh, I resized it a little bit, uh, which uh, I don't know, good, bad, or indifferent, we'll see. But I resized it a little bit and then uh, uh, basically uh, hit print. And it's been out here printing. And I don't know, someone online somewhere or something said the software tries to print straight lines first and whatever. So the the cutter head is zigzagging all over the place. It's uh, it, it, it doesn't have a, an efficient path in it that it's using to, to cut. Matter of fact, the laser is barely running most of the time. It's uh, spending most of its time just moving from one place to another. Um, but I'm starting to see my logo emerge. I'm printing at 90% uh, laser power and 10 milliseconds. So. Uh, you know, I, I can go uh, a little heavier on the, a uh, little more power, but uh, I'm pretty, pretty close to the maxed out side of the power, but I can, I can have to slow it down and have it spend a lot more time burning. But uh, it's burning into the top layer of this plywood. It looks like just fine. Uh, I'm not too sure how deep it's burning into it. I'm not sure if that matters right now, but I'll play with stuff like that in the future. Uh, I, I hope that the, you'll subscribe to my channel and uh, click the, uh, Click the little notification bell, um, leave comments. I'd sure like to know uh, if you guys have one of these or are considering to get one. I'm going to be designing and then trying to make a, um, a jig, a rotary jig for this, for uh, engraving on pens and bottle stoppers and things like that. And I know there's some available, but I'm trying to increase my skills in Fusion 360. So uh, hopefully I'll be uh, putting out a video where I have designed a, uh, a rotary jig for this laser in Fusion 360, printed it on my 3D printer, and then come out here, assemble it, run it, and be able to uh, print on a, uh, on a pen. So that would be really cool. Um, sure appreciate your time. I thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Back to the print.